Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and a fascinating puzzle today called Crocky on Steroids Sudoku. We'll get to that in a minute. Now, um, thank you for the kind comments on our streams of solving the 500k uh, free app, well, free pack on our app puzzles. And uh, we've been trying to solve them in three separate streams so far. There's more to come because there are more puzzles to come. And I think the next one's going to be on Monday evening our time. So the same time as the others, but coming this coming Monday. Do join us if you can. And if it entertains you to see a struggle, we've got to the harder end of the pack now. And uh, every puzzle takes us at least half an hour. I mean, I suppose every puzzle on the channel does, frankly. So it's not a shock apart from the gas. Now, um, thank you so much to anybody who is also on Patreon, has been enjoying the collaborative solve that we did of uh, Dad Joke's brilliant puzzle Jabberwocky. We will at some point do more of them as well because the comments were incredibly good about that, which means that our Patreons want more of that. That's very understandable. Uh, thank you so much to anyone who is a Patreon. Uh, it, for the $3 and above a month Patreons. There will be a video tomorrow on the solutions to the linked Sudoku that was the prize for this month. And for the $2 and above Patreons, and of course those $3 ones as well, there will be a new pack on October the 1st, and it's brilliant. It's by the Skunk Works Collective. It's called Duality, and I think you're gonna love it. Um, there will be an intermediate prize for people who can get through, I think it's effectively the first four Sudokus, but then there's a bunch of more after that. And I think the plan is that Simon will read out the names of anybody who gets through the whole pack because it ain't easy. It's brilliant fun though. Um, I am definitely gonna testify to that. Right, but you can also check the links under the video for all of our apps, including the Cracking the Cryptic app where you can get the 500K pack. Um, and our merchandise, Discord, Patreon, etc. But the first link is to this puzzle, and we will see why this is Kropke on steroids now. This has come in from uh, Martin, who's a first timer as a constructor. Well done, Martin. Um, I am trying to get my Polish pronunciation a bit better uh, with words like Martin and Kropke because um, I'm off to Krakow in about three weeks time for the World Sudoku Championships. Looking forward to that. Well, really looking forward to that. It should be brilliant, but uh, good to get in the practice before then for sure. Anyway, let's see what the rules are. Normal Sudoku rules apply. That's one to nine in every row, column and three by three box. Now, let's look at the larger blue lines, the e region sum lines. Digits on one of those have an equal sum n within each three by three box the line passes through. So those three cells add up to that one, and those two add up to those three add up to that one. So that's how region sum lines work. Um, it is not Martin's fault that both those and the diagonal line are blue. This is just a line representing um, that the digits can't repeat on this diagonal. So they're a set of one to nine. They don't have to equal the same sum in the same box. Uh, this has sort of grown up because we had traditionally these blue lines for diagonals and then somebody invented region sum lines and they became blue and who knew that they would get mixed in a puzzle. Anyway, now here comes the steroids bit. Digits separated by a black dot have a ratio of one to two and that works either diagonally or orthogonally. So sometimes the black dot is between two cells and they have a ratio of one to two, but sometimes it's on a junction of four cells. And there it's giving us two diagonal relationships. So the rules explain the example that those two cells have a one to two ratio and those two also have a one to two ratio. So that applies for the black dots that are on four cell junctions. So it's a really big change in some ways, I think. For the white dots, they are marking consecutive numbers and there, there's only two white dots, but they, they, do, they do things differently. Here, it's just those two cells must be consecutive. Here, it's two relationships, one consecutive pair there and another one here. So that's all. 
no, no givens, very few lines, really interesting construction. Um, I don't know how these black dots are going to work. It's really interesting, and the whites, but I imagine the blacks are more powerful. But there we go. Do give it a try on the first uh, link under the video. I am now going to start. Let's get cracking. So, so with region sum lines, they work a bit like arrows. Those three cells have to be at least one, two, and three. So the minimum that this cell can be is six, seven, eight, nine. Oh, and that applies on that line. Yes, they've all got one of these cells. So the single cell, given that there's a three cell line on each of these, a three cell portion on each of these lines must at least be six. Now, what can these be? They can easily be one and one and two, which have the right ratio and would leave three, four, five or six here. Two and four. They can't be three and six. They could be two and four. The reason they can't be three and six is that already adds up to nine plus anything there busts this cell completely. So that is not going to happen. So this is either a one, two or a two, four pair. And they definitely have a two on. And the same is true down here because it's exactly the same setup. Oh, and these two cells are, ah, yes, of course, with, with a crop key dot here, with a black crop key dot here. Now, I don't know whether this is a 2-4 pair or a 3-6 pair, but given that this cell is somewhere between 6 and 9, the total of this pair is somewhere between 6 and 9, and because one side is half of the other side, this pair has to be divisible by 3. So these, it's going to work up here as well because there's a black crop key dot there. These are both 6 or 9. And these are either a 2, 4 or a 3, 6 pair. They don't, I don't think there's a reason they have to be different yet. They might not be different. Now, is it? Okay, it's not the same in these boxes, but the one, two, or two, four thing still is the same. So, yeah, it's not the same because we don't have this two cell portion where with a black dot on. So we don't know that these are divisible by three. They may not be. Um, right. Is that all we learn? What are these rump cells? Now these are six or nine. Right, yes. Those are divisible by three. That's divisible by three. This remainder or this difference between the total there and there must be divisible by three as well. And that's going to apply here. So that's a three or a six in those two cells. They could be different. They could be the same. One of these will be a... S no, that's not true. I was going to say one of these will be a six. But that could be a 2-4 pair with a 3 here, so nonsense. Um, do stop me in my tracks if I'm talking gibberish. You can't. Now, this we don't know, and this, they are not so constrained. What about the diagonal? I don't think it's doing anything for us yet. No, I don't see that. I'm struggling to see what we are meant to pick up here. Is that six and six or nine related to that one? I don't think so. Not even through the mirror symmetry of the diagonal. This white dot, that's no use to me. It tells me nothing. This one only says that this number is relatively low. Ah, there's two X wings. Oh, oh gosh, so slow. Right, that is a two X wing. Thank goodness for the pencil marking, otherwise I wouldn't have spotted that at all. That is a two X-wing, by which I mean that there has to be a two in one of those two cells, there has to be a two in one of those two, and that's going to use up the twos for rows one and two. So we're not going to get a two here. This is now a three six pair. This adds up to nine, well that adds up to nine, this adds up to nine. Doesn't tell me what that is, but it does tell me this is a nine. Now, have I got the same thing going on here? I've got a... Well, it's not quite. There is a 2x wing there, so this can't be a 2, and this isn't a 4, therefore. I've got one going on down here. Yes, that's... 
There are lots of these. So there's a two in one of those cells in row seven. That's where the two has to be. Two in one of these cells. Two in one of these. This is weird. And a two in one of those, which could be on the black dot. But I don't know about the diagonal, do I? Ah, look. Oh, that's brilliant. Right. Oh, that's epic. OK, if this is a two, then the two up here goes here. And then the two in box one by ordinary Sudoku has to go here. But by the diagonal, it's not allowed to. So this is impossible. So that is not a two. Oh, that is absolutely brilliant, Martin. That's epic. Right. So we get the two up here. Oh, we get all these twos. That's a two. That's a two. Those ones aren't. Doesn't tell us this one. Now we've got a one four on the diagonal. Do I know any? I don't. It hasn't told me any of these amounts of these black dots, though. Oh, what goes on the other black dot? Right. If that's a four and in one of these cases, it is a four. Then we're going to get a 3-6 pair. Now, if we got a 3-6 pair here, that, sorry, what I'm trying to think there is, if that was a 4, then this black dot pair can't use a 2 or a 4. So it can't be 1, 2 or 4, 8. It's going to have to be 3-6. That would give me an X-wing here. And that would be fine. That's really irritating. Now, if this is a 1, and it is for one of these two cases, then we could have 4-8 on the black dot, on the other black dot in the box. Ah, oh, it feels really weird. It's a bit like a sort of hydra with heads popping out from everywhere. So can I not do the same with ones and fours if... No, I definitely can't. Um... Ah, irritating. I'm really close. Oh, this now has got narrowed down. It's next to three or six, so it's four, five or seven. Not helpful. There's no two or nine on this white dot. Not helpful. Oh, two on the diagonal now has to be in one of those cells because it can't be on the diagonal in box one or box nine. Don't know what that does. Um, oh, look, I've got a 3-6 in those cells. So you can't have 3-6 on these diagonals. Right, so it's actually these diagonals. OK, so this pair can't be 3-6, right. So it has to be 4-8. And this pair can't be 3-6 because of that. So it has to be 4-8. Oh, that is beautiful as well. I've just been very, very slow there. We get a 1 there. This now adds up. To nine, so that's a six. Oh, I don't know what that adds up to yet. I've got a two. And this one's not resolved. We we don't know that this is a is modulo three. In fact, I rather suspect it's not. Ah, oh, we've got a six looking down there at this cell. So if it's a seven, I don't know. That's no help. Ah, but we've got fours, definitely. OK, what happens if that's a four, that's a four, and that's a four? Oh, that's fine for the diagonal. Whereas if that's a four, that's a four, that's a four. Ah, i tell you what I've noticed there is whichever of those arrangements is right. So wherever we put four on this diagonal, if we put it there, obviously, that is four in column two. If we put it here, then this is four in column two. And it's got to be in one of those two places because they're a one four pair. So four is either there or there in column two, and it's not here. And now we know that this is a, a three six pair and this line adds up to nine and we can fill in a, a six here, which sorts out the three six pair. We can fill in a nine here as well, which 
mirror symmetrically reflects that nine. This can't be a nine. This can't be a nine. Mm, what else has that done? I haven't sorted out the fours and eights. I've just used them for something else. That's weird. Uh, this can't be a six either. So this is seven or eight. If it's seven, that's a one or a four. If it's eight, that is a five. Same here, I suppose. If it's seven, it's a one or a four. If it's eight, it's five. Yes. Hmm, what next? I don't know. Um, okay, one of these is a four. How do I use that? Okay, so again, one of these two in row two is a four. One of these two in row eight is a four. How is that any use? Oh, six. Look, six is ruled out of all of those cells by where we've put sixes. In fact, that's a six just by Sudoku. Ah, oh, I should have looked at sixes. I'm looking at them now. Anyway, six is on one of those cells. So that is a three, six black dot. And that's... Oh, well, I've got six on that black dot itself. So that's a three. I didn't even see that. So that's a three. Um, uh, I must be able to finish sixes. Nothing like. No, but I know three and six are now off the diagonal in boxes one and nine. So they're on the diagonal in the middle here. And in fact, there are three six pair in these cells. And now we know where two goes on it. Then we've got the one four pair. So the rest of the diagonal is five, seven, oh, five, seven, eight, and nine. Um, oh, and in one of the boxes, that's going to stop this being a five. So one of these two digits is definitely a seven. I don't know if I can use that. I doubt that I can. Ah, what have we got down here? Five, seven, and nine still to place. That one can't be a nine. Oh yeah, let's do some good old pencil marking. Uh, if I can, actually there may not be that much. Oh, nine is in one of those two cells off the diagonal. Yeah, no, that doesn't help. I, I knew that. Um, these. There's a three in one of these two, and that forms a sort of X-wing with the three down there. So then we're going to get a three in one of those two cells. Actually, that is a two, three pair now, which is surprising. A little bit weird. <coughs> Might have to pause to cough now. Hang on a second. There we go. Let's hope I cut a minute of silence out there. Oh, and the coughing. Um, right, two, three are a pair here. Right, so this white dot. What's on that now? It's from one, four, five, six, seven, eight. One is not on it. One is in one of these two cells. No, I know which one one is in. It's in there because it can't be on the white dot because two can't be on it. So it's got to be there. That's not a one. This can't be a four five pair, so that is a one, and that's on the diagonal. That's a four. Um, that's eight, that's four. The four is also looking down there, eight and four. I should probably know what that is. Three, these are from five, seven, and nine. That's not a four now. Oh, well, it, what, that's both by Sudoku and crop key and I probably missed one of those when it was first available. That's a seven because there's an eight down there. Right, so that's a one now. If I knew, oh, look, that eight is sorting out both of them. So that's a seven, that's a four. That doesn't help me decide where five is on the diagonal, but never mind. We've got a four in one of those two cells. This is so clever, this is just epic. Um, eight is in one of these two cells in the column, so that's not eight. That's not a seven anymore, so 
7 is in one of those two, and that's a 7 in column 3. So no 7s on the diagonal. Actually, we had various 7s telling me that. Uh, 8 is in one of the corners. No, it's not. 8 is not in that corner. 8 is up in this corner. I mean, 8 is in one of the corners, but I know which one. That's what I was getting excited about. That's 5 or 7, so that's a pair. 9 in the top right corner. 5 in the bottom right. Uh, I was going to fill a 7 in here, but it doesn't see the opposite corner. Let's look at the diagonal instead. 9 there, just leaving the 3, 6 pair to be resolved. This is a 7, 8 pair. That can't be 5 or 9 though, so that's 7, that's 8, that's 7. Oh, this bottom corner is a 9. Oh, I was going to fill in a 7, so I'm glad I didn't do that. 5, 7, 5 and 9 at the top. They're done. This is a 1 to finish the column. This is a 2, 4 pair. An X-wing that I can't use, as is the 3s. That's a 1, 9 pair, which I can fill in. This is 2, 4 and 8. Uh, that one's not 2. This is 5 and 3. Oh, there's, I keep expecting these will be resolved. Oh, it's this blinking white dot again, isn't it? Right, this is 4, 5 or 6, but I must know it's parity because I have one even digit there. I'm going to put 2 on these and that must be even, but I don't know which it is, therefore. Rats. Okay, let's fill in these bits. 1, 2 and 8. Uh, Oh, that's a naked 5 with a 3 or 6 there. Naked meaning it sees all the other digits in its row and column in this case. Could have been its box. These are from 3, 4, 6 and they do include a 4. Uh, bother. 6, 3, 2, 5, 7. Oh, 9 has fixed the 9 in the central box and 9 there. And a 5-8 pair up there. Now, that is 5 or 8 by Sudoku. It sees all the other digits. This one, 4, 5 or 7. Now, 5 or... Ah, 8 is on the white dot because it's not in that cell. It's in one of these two. And it must be next to 7. So 7's in one of these. 8's in one of these. But the other white dot indicator is either it involves a five but it's either four six or five six i don't see how i can tell which there might be a way that i'm not spotting that's one four or eight um come on mark think about it two three six nine one these are from four five seven and eight. Oh, one is definitely in one of those two cells Oh look, there's a two, three, four, six quadruple. That means that's not four. It's one or eight. So that means this is a four in the column. Wow, that's quite intricate. Um, but it doesn't get me much else, does it? Two eight. Oh, it gets me a two eight pair in this column. So that's not eight. Let's just keep going with this thought. Uh, one or eight here. We've had that two. This is one five or eight because of that triple that I spotted. Oh, look, there's a three six pair. Good Lord. So that's a four. Got another three six pair down here. One of these two is four. Might as well pencil mark everything. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yes, that can't be three or six. So, all right. And here, 4971. Can't be three because of the two, three pair. One, eight, nine, two, three. Oh, that's not actually done much for me. So something is going to sort out this box. What about these three, six pairs? That is a weird, that's an interesting conformation. Let's have a look at that. If I make that one purple and that one orange, that one is purple, that one is orange. That one is purple. That one is orange. Yes, bingo. Look, that's beautiful. Martin, thank you for not only building this in, but for me spotting it. I'm delighted with that. This cell here sees both the purple 3-6 and the orange 3-6. They have to be different 
because of the relationship between threes and sixes in boxes five, eight, and nine. So they can't be six. I'm not certain that finishes things, but it makes that a four, um, which fixes this two, four pair, which fixes two, three over the other side. Oh, come on. Don't say you stop there. Ah, oh, look. Look, there's this other cell that sees orange and purple as well. So that can't be six. So we've got a five, eight pair. And this is three up at the top. That's five. That makes this seven and six. Seven on the diagonal white dot has to be next to eight. Oh, that is brilliant. Take a bow, Martin. That is is a fantastic finish to a really interesting puzzle. Totally know why you called it Kropke on steroids. Um, absolutely admirable. <sighs> yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. That is so clever. Eight, two, seven, and five, and there we go. What a lovely puzzle. I hope you had a go at that and I hope you I hope you found it in the same way because that's the way to solve it. There may be other ways to solve this, but that was delightful. Ah, oh, brilliant. Anyway, thank you so much for watching us as always and uh, really hope to see you again tomorrow on the channel. Uh, bye for now.